no social media. Welcome to Lakita T Shots exclusive inspirational channel. Welcome to Lakita T Shots famous inspirational mini. I am so happy that you have decided to join me on today. So I welcome you. Hello. Hope you guys had a great weekend. And if not, times will get better. I know it will. And um, well, anyway, check out my books over at Amazon.com. My books are for the sensitive mind and soul. I am number one brand for the sensitive mind and soul. So check out my books on today. Head over to my website for additional inspiration. And also, if you want me to coach you during this hour, feel free to reach out to me. I am a dream support coach, so I will support you on your dreams. And also, if you want to donate to the ministry, feel free to leave your donation. No gift is too small. So I thank you so much, very much. So let's get talking, shall we? Thinking, worrying about what others think. How many of you are always worried about what others think. Do you ever fall guilty in that category? I have plenty of times. As in the fact, I felt that way this weekend because I wanted to go to a store that I really wanted to go to, and I really like going to this particular store, but I go there a lot, you know, pretty much every other day. I just like going in there, just something I just enjoy doing, you know, and I was just thinking that, you know, I'm not going to go today because I know the workers going to be like, oh, she's here again. Most likely they probably are saying that, but that has nothing to do with me because I'm not starting trouble with anybody. I'm shopping. I am enjoying myself and enjoying the store. You know, and um, that's what the workers say, maybe. But the 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 owner of the place is saying, yeah, 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 spend that money. <laughs> so anyway, um, you know, so I allowed others' opinions of me to stop me this weekend for enjoying myself and going to a place that I enjoy. And I allowed others' opinions to stop me. You know, um, when I started my business, when I stopped working and I quit my jobs and when I began to uh, begin the, um, the road to entrepreneurship, well, when I did that, I still had a prison mentality because what happened was I will wake up every single day and go to my clubhouse. And when I go to my clubhouse, you know, I always was worried about what the workers may think what this person may think of me showing up every day. And it just bothered me and I felt uncomfortable going to the same place every day. You know, it just really, really bothered me. And it bothered me a lot. So it was just, I couldn't even concentrate with enjoying my life and doing my work. You know, I was free. I was free mentally. You know, I mean, I was free technically because I didn't have nowhere else to go to and I was able to work and do my business and do what I love to do you know what I mean so um to, to tell you that this is that you you have to get to a point where you like I'm not gonna worry about what they're thinking of me you know I am going to do what makes me happy I am going to 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 live the life that I want to live you know, I am going to be free. You know, I'm not going to be in mental bondage where, you know, I can't enjoy my life because of other people. You know, are you like that? Are you in a situation where it's like you can't enjoy your life because of other people? You know, you got to worry about what the church folks say. You know, you got to worry about what the people at the job say. You know, you change your hair. And then you're worrying about what the people with the job thinks or what people thinks about, you know, you or uh, whatever like that. You know, and I'm like, you want to get to that point where I'm not worried about what you think of me. 
You know, I don't care what you think of me. I am going to enjoy myself. I am going to enjoy life. I am going to live the life of abundance that Jesus Christ died on the cross for me to have. I only have one life to live. You know, and I'm going to live an abundant life and a happy life. You know, you know, you just got to get to that point where I'm going to enjoy myself. I'm going to go to my store that I enjoy going to every day and I'm going to shop and I'm going to enjoy and thank God that I have the freedom that I can do that and think about the things that I have the freedom to do to be able to go and shop every day if I want to go to be able to get up and go to my favorite restaurant if I want to go there every day and enjoy myself and 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 come and, and do that. You know, finally that I can live the life that I want to live. You know, you know, worrying about people will stop you. You know, people opinions. You know, if I listened to if I had listened to my family and listened to um, anybody. You know, listen to them. You know, the people that try to stop me. I wouldn't be here talking to you today. I wouldn't have a business. I wouldn't be able to talk to you today. Had I um had I listened to people, you know? You know, listen, people can really stop you everywhere you go. Everywhere you go, you know, people can stop you and get in your way, you know, of you enjoying your life and living it to the fullest. God wants us to live our life to the fullest and for us to have an abundant life. That's what God wants us to have, you know. So you have to you have to do all you can do to make sure that you are living that life that God wants you to live, you know, and um, you just have to, you know, and um, not worrying about it. It's hard. I know it's hard. You know, it's easy said than done because, you know, you worry about what they thinking about me as I go into the store. You know, and when you are a chosen one, you know, and a person that is chosen, people are always looking at you. People are always taking notice of you. Even if you going to, uh, you going to walk the neighborhood, people take notice of you. You know, you going to the store really fast, you know, people are taking notice of you. You're just, you just have that type of presence with you. You know, that you stop the traffic, you know, literally. People blow the horns at you when you're walking the street. You know, so, um, yeah, so I can understand how you can allow the, the, the thoughts of people stop you from enjoying your life. You know, and, I'm, and you know, you just got to be like, you know, I am blocking this out today. I am going to enjoy my life. You know, I am going to live the life that was created for me to live and to live it abundantly, you know, and, you know, and I'm just saying to you, you know, it is time, it is time to live the life that God wants you to live. It is time to live um, the way that God wants you to live, you know, it really, really is. Um, yeah, so you can, you're just going to have to, you're going to have to move on. You're going to have to move on and you're just going to have to be like, no, if you realize that the reason why you're not going somewhere is because somebody is stopping you, you know, somebody, somebody is stopping you up here in your mind, you know, no, I'm going to go. I'm not bothered. As long as you're not bothering nobody, you're not stealing you're not doing anything. You're not harming anybody. You're, you're doing you. You know, you are enjoying you, you know, and, and you are okay. You know, you do you and you you be, and you know, enjoy. Enjoy the life 
that God has, you know, given you, you know, and enjoy the life, you know. Well, anyway, I will see you in the next video. We are the chosen ones. We do right. We live right. We are right. We make a lot of mistakes, but we continue to move forward because why? We are the chosen ones, baby. I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.